pretty cute. <laughs> Didn't even look real, right? We all know that exercise is good for us physically and mentally, but many people don't realize too much can increase the risk of dangerous health consequences. In today's HealthCast, a warning about exercise overload. Jennifer Abbott was an avid exerciser until late last year. I've always pushed myself, but I did go a little more beyond what I normally would do. Jennifer was doing push-ups near the end of an intense workout when she collapsed on the floor. And I told one of the trainers, I said, I think I'm done. And she looked at me, she's like, you're almost to the end. You don't think you can finish? I'm like, yeah, I can do this. She remained sore for days. Then her urine turned dark. And then about five days afterwards, my arms were really sore still. It wasn't going away. And um, they started to swell. And then I, I freaked out. Jennifer was ultimately diagnosed with rhabdomyolysis. It's a very complicated term, but basically speaking, it's the breakdown of muscles where throughout your body that basically clog your kidneys. Broward Health Kidney Specialist Dr. Parham F. Takari says the end result can be kidney failure and even death from electrolyte abnormalities. I think it could have been prevented if I would have known the symptoms. Warning signs include muscle pain and achiness, dark urine that's almost muddy brown in color, or a lack of urination for an extended period of time. It is out there and it's important to at least understand, look it up, um, and get patient information about it. Jennifer was in the hospital on dialysis for seven days, but didn't feel normal for more than two months. And I think I'm lucky because I could have ended up with renal failure. It's important to work yourself slowly into any exercise program. Stay hydrated and be especially careful if you're on cholesterol or diabetes medications. These can increase the risk of rhabdo. With your second opinion, I'm Dr. Ari Sofer. Drinking plenty of water during a workout can also lower your risk. Cases like these tend to increase in the summer months because people become dehydrated more quickly. If you have a health-related question or concern for Dr. Sofer, send him an email to askdrsofer at local10.com. Oh, new at 5 o'clock now. We're